What's going on guys? Brandon here from B&T's Radical Bows and Pythons and today we're going to be giving some guinea pigs a bath. Stay tuned. So I'm sure your first question is going to be, what kind of soap can I use on my guinea pig? Um, actually, there's multiple kinds of soaps that you can use on your guinea pig. Uh, a lot of people use Dawn, of course, as long as it has a little ducky on there. <laughs> um, it works great. Uh, a lot of people use cat shampoo uh, because it is uh, very easy on the skin and on the hair. Uh, I personally, I use Aveeno Baby. It's got soothing hydration and creamy wash. It's got a uh, natural oatmeal. It leaves the skin uh, feeling more hydrated. And it's fragrance free, it's hypoallergenic, and it's tear free. Now, I use this simply because I used to use this on my hedgehogs that I used to have and it did absolutely great. Um, so I just use it on my guinea pigs as well, simply because it gives them a little bit more moisture to their skin and it's great for their coat. Uh, so you're gonna need your soap, of course. And of course, you're gonna need a towel to dry them off with. And you're gonna need either a sink, a tub, uh, you can use a tote if you want to. Put your water in there. Uh, me personally, I would rinse in a separate tote and I would cleanse the water out after each um, guinea pig that I did. If I had multiples, which I do, I have three, so I'm gonna be doing all three today. And uh, so I'm gonna also, I'm gonna do it in the sink because it's just easier for me. Uh, I'm just one person here today doing this. I don't have my wife to help me. So here we go. Let's go ahead and get started. So as you can see over here, I have a towel in this portion of the sink. This is a dry towel to dry them off with. Uh, and I just place it in the sink because I find it easier to pick them up and place them into here. That way they don't run off the counter or get hurt or nothing like that. I realize that my head is cut off in this video, but that's just because I want you guys to see how I do this. Now again, this is just my way of doing this. There are multiple ways to do it. You do it how you feel fit to do it. So again, we're gonna turn on our water. Don't wanna get it too, too hot. Just nice and warm. Okay, we're gonna turn on a little bit of cold here to even it out. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna get the guinea pig. This is Chubby. As you can see, he's a chubby boy. He's a good man. Yes, he is. I love him. All right, bud. Here we go. Oh, you don't like it. I know. Trust me, I know. You don't like it at all. I know. But you gotta have a bath because you're stinky. Yes, you're stinky. All right, so we got him nice and wet here. Now we're just gonna take a little bit of this, pour it right down his back. Just a little, not a whole lot. And just scrub him down good. I know, bud, I know. It's awful, I know. Scrub him down good. And again, a lot of them hate this, of course. It's a bath. No animal likes a bath, really. <laughs> oh, he's such a mad boy. Yes, he is. He's such a mad boy. Make sure to get up under the belly. Up under their legs. Up under their ears. All that good stuff. Uh, try to keep it out of their eyes as much as possible. If you can. Alright. We're just going to rinse him off good here. 
I know, bud. Hold on. Hold on. I know. I know. I know. All right. Now, good and clean. Shut the water off. Take him over here. Pull him there for just a second. Fold this around him. Nice and secure, just like this. Now we're going to take him and we're going to dry him off really good and move on to the next one. Number two, this is Ginger. This is Chubby's little girlfriend. Hey, hi. Hi, Ginger. All right, same thing. Going to wet her. Any good? I know, baby girl, I know. And soap down the back. Just like that. Pick her up a little bit. Scrub it in real good. Oh, I know, I know. I got you. It's okay. I know it. You don't like it either, do you? Again, make sure to get up under the arms, around the anus area, on the belly, real good. You look like a wet rat. <laughs> all right, and it's you're off here. longer haired one but try to get as much as the water off as you can there place your hand throw it over roll her up and you got a cute little wet guinea pig to dry off next one coming up okay last one it is is ginger and chubby's little baby he's growing big yes it's a male uh, and his name is squeakers we named him squeakers because that's all he does is squeak and squeak and squeak Anyways, this will be his very first bath. We're gonna see how this goes. Probably not gonna be good. Hey, buddy, there you go. Oh, I know, I know. Hold on. Hold on. It's getting hard to come out. There we go. All right. Again, around the anus area, under the arms, on the belly. Yeah, you gotta get the belly. And uh, again, it's very important that you keep these guys' nails trimmed as well, because uh, not only can they scratch the crap out of you, but they will actually scratch and cut themselves as to how long that their nails can get. Oh my goodness, you're doing so good. Yeah, you're doing good for your first bath. Yes, you are. You're doing so good. All right. Get off your head there. Okay, all right. Turn the water off. Stick him in there. Roll him up like a taco. And there he is, little cute fella. He's so cute. He's such a good boy. Yes, he is. I love these little guys. Anyways, I'm going to dry him off. And I'll be right back. All right, so that's all I have for this video. I just wanted to share that experience with some of you all that have never uh, dealt with guinea pigs before. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, also, I want to stress one big, big thing. Make sure that your guinea pigs are completely dry before putting them back in the enclosures. It is highly, highly suggested because 
If not, they could chill. Um, and when they get the chills, they could catch pneumonia. They could catch, you know, a cold, if you will, um, and possibly die. Uh, so always be sure that they're nice and dry and warm after their baths. Anyways, guys, that's all I have for this video. We'll see you in the next one.